Beneath the vast Pacific Ocean lies a world so deep, so remote, and so extreme that no sunlight reaches it. A world where pressure is over 1,000 times greater than at sea level, where temperatures hover just above freezing, where life must defy everything we thought biology allowed. This is the Mariana Trench, the deepest known place on Earth. A gash in the ocean floor that plunges nearly 11 kilometers down, deeper than Mount Everest is tall. For decades, it was treated as a scientific curiosity, a hostile abyss, a mystery of the natural world best left to the imagination. But recently, something changed. Something was found, a discovery buried at the bottom of this pressure-crushed graveyard that has set off quiet alarms in boardrooms, research labs, and war rooms around the world. It's not a lost city. It's not alien life. It's something far more real and far more powerful. This discovery in the Mariana Trench is poised to transform geopolitics as we know it. Let's dive in. To understand why this discovery matters, we first need to understand the Mariana Trench itself. Located in the Western Pacific Ocean, east of the Philippines and south of Japan, the trench stretches over 2,500 kilometers long with the deepest part known as the Challenger Deep. No sunlight penetrates these depths. The pressure is over 16,000 PSI. That's like stacking 50 jumbo jets on your head. For most of history, humans believed this part of the Earth was unreachable and uninhabitable. Only a handful of people have ever descended into its depths. Fewer than have walked on the moon. But advances in autonomous submersibles and deep-sea technology have changed that. Now, unmanned vehicles, armed with high-resolution sonar, robotic arms, and deep ocean sensors, are mapping and sampling the trench in ways we never could before. And recently, one of those missions uncovered something unexpected. It began as part of a joint oceanographic study led by a coalition of researchers from multiple nations. The mission, to explore mineral deposits and microbial life forms at extreme depths. But while scanning a ridge in one of the trenches' side canyons, a robotic submersible picked up a strange reading. A metallic anomaly, not part of the natural seafloor. Not volcanic, not organic. It was human-made. Lying partially buried under silt and rock was a sealed, engineered object. A casing, it seemed, of a type of alloy not previously known to exist at such depths. Further analysis suggested the structure was recent, not ancient debris, not a relic, but a modern fabrication. Within days, the discovery was classified. The team was recalled. Communication went dark. But leaks, as they tend to do, made their way out. Satellite data showed increased naval activity in the region. Submarines, research vessels, surveillance craft. Not just from one country, but from several. Why? Because the object wasn't just metal. It wasn't just strange. It was a power source. A compact, high-density energy core encased in a material that can withstand crushing pressure. It wasn't nuclear, but it exhibited energy density far beyond conventional batteries or supercapacitors. And it appeared to still be functioning. Who put it there? Why was it at the bottom of the world's most inaccessible trench? And what happens if someone retrieves it? These are the questions now shifting the balance of global power. In recent years, the deep ocean has become the new frontier in the global resource race. Rare earth metals, manganese nodules, cobalt-rich crusts. These materials are essential for everything from smartphones to fighter jets to clean energy technologies. The countries that control these resources control the future. The Mariana Trench, long ignored for being too deep, too dangerous, is suddenly looking like a treasure chest. And now, 
with the discovery of an unknown power source, potentially from a classified military program or experimental tech. The race has intensified. Multiple nations are rumored to have deployed deep-sea retrieval missions. Legal boundaries in international waters have become blurred. Navies are being repositioned. Private contractors, claiming to be research vessels, are engaging in underwater mapping. And in the shadows, intelligence agencies are trying to determine who built it. Some say it was an experimental drone power core lost during a Black Ops naval test. Others believe it may have been placed there intentionally to test endurance under pressure. Still others whisper it may be foreign, not from a known nation, but a rogue entity. Regardless of the origin, one thing is clear. Whoever retrieves and reverse engineers this device will gain a technological edge that could reshape military, energy, and surveillance capabilities. This isn't just about science. It's about control. This discovery couldn't have come at a more volatile time. Tensions in the Indo-Pacific are already high. Territorial disputes, naval patrols, and cyber espionage have made the region one of the most militarized zones on Earth. Now, with the Mariana Trench in focus, the seabed has become a new battlefield. Legal experts debate who, if anyone, has sovereign rights over discoveries made in international waters. Some argue for shared scientific access. Others argue for finders, keepers. Still others push for secrecy, hoping to gain a quiet advantage. Behind closed doors, think tanks and defense agencies are drawing up scenarios. What if this energy core powers new classes of drones, undetectable, pressure-proof, long-range? What if it represents a leap in battery technology that ends the current lithium race? What if it holds secrets to extreme environment engineering? This isn't theoretical. It's unfolding now, and it's already transforming alliances, strategies, and budgets. For centuries, geopolitics has played out on land, then in the skies, then in space. Now, it moves beneath the sea. The Mariana Trench discovery has accelerated efforts to govern the deep ocean. Talks at the United Nations, treaties under pressure, proposals for neutral ocean zones monitored by satellite. Meanwhile, private corporations are lobbying for access to deep sea resources. Nations are expanding their deep ocean fleets and academic institutions are quietly receiving unprecedented funding for extreme depth research. Some advocate for transparency, a global deep ocean data sharing initiative. Others advocate for dominance. One side sees the deep sea as a shared scientific frontier. The other sees it as the last great unclaimed domain of power. Which vision wins may shape the next century. The Mariana Trench is no longer just a natural wonder. It is a stage for science, for competition, and for the future of geopolitical influence. What was once just the deepest point on Earth is now a flashpoint. In its crushing darkness, a silent machine waits, holding secrets we're only beginning to uncover. Secrets that could change everything from how we fight wars to how we power cities. The discovery in the trench isn't just a marvel of science. It's a mirror reflecting our ambitions, our fears, and our hunger for control. And in the shadows of the deep, where few dare to look. The next era of power may already be unfolding. This is the Mariana Trench, and it is no longer asleep.